Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolanda and I am a zero base cash budgeter. In today's video, I am going to be closing out my budget for the month of July and July has been a little bit crazy for me. June and July has been a little bit crazy dealing with the moving, but I am trying to, I am eager to get back on track. And one of the things that I need to do is I need to see what is left in these envelopes um, so that I and prepared for when I do get paid on Friday so I can allocate the funds appropriately for the envelopes that I need to get caught up on. So this is really important for me to do for my budget so that I can try to get back on track. So before I do our sinking funds update, I do have some happy mail and I'm excited about this happy mail because one, I had gotten rid of most of my clothes when I had moved so I'm eager to get these out to wear these and um two i know i i i know that i'm just gonna love them i i, I love t-shirts so t-shirts are my thing i'm a t-shirt and jeans type of person and when i saw these i was just like you know i'm just gonna get these because it is what i want what i vision myself in my future self to be a mom right so yeah so i already my husband already took it out of the packaging um out of the mailing packaging but here it is guys and I don't know i saw the instagram post of her mom this is from chrissy from the mom life um her mom packaging these orders i'm sure it wasn't my order that she was packaging but um you know she was taking real good care of it so it's gonna i don't want to rip the tissue paper but here it is guys oh wow I'm going to open it up because I do like this brand, Bella Canvas. I haven't had t-shirts from Bella Canvas, but I have had hoodies from Bella Canvas. And um, I used to work in a store that sold them. So look at it. The mom life. And they feel super soft. The, um, hold on. I'm going to turn off this light so that you guys can see it because it's not, it looks faded but it's not faded but it's like a true black i'm gonna turn it back on this lighting is not giving it justice but it says the mom life and it has this beautiful heart on it and i love what she said what the heart represented and i'm definitely going to be rocking this on saturday because i don't have to wear work clothes on saturday so i bought one for myself And I had gotten a large because, I, one, I like my t-shirts baggy, but they're pretty true to size. And, of course, I got gray. Gray is my favorite color to wear, apart from black. Gray and black. I, I, I think I look nice in gray. Charcoal gray. And this gray one, which has, like, this distress lettering. Look at that. I love this. I love this. I might actually go somewhere on Saturday just to wear this. And that is my happy meal. There's a card in here. There's something in here. Oh, it's just an invoice. So definitely go check out her or message her for her or go to, go to her website to get these t-shirts i might even insert a clip well uh, this video is going up tomorrow so i'm not going to insert a clip i might put an instagram post of me wearing it i might even make my husband wear one because they are super soft that's what i love about the bella canvas i got why i had had the hoodies and they last a really long time i think i had my bella canvas hoodies i had it in gray and black and i had just thrown them out when i was moving I donated them because they were still in great condition and I had them for about four years so that's how long they're gonna last about four years and so I used to work in a store that sold uniforms and they used to sell jerseys and gildan and stuff like that but you can place pre-orders for Bella canvas and so that's what I did with the t-shirts even when I was going my husband took my nieces to go uniform shopping and I was just like can you ask them 
if they have Bella Canvas. He, of course, didn't, so I'm going to have to do that myself, but definitely great quality. Like I said, my hoodie has lasted, and I used to wear them all the time, lasted for almost four years, and it's in the same colors that I had here, the charcoal gray and the black. I had about five of them, and yeah, they're really good quality. So thank you so much, Chrissy. I am going to, I'll, I'll, I'll send you a picture when I am wearing them. I'm probably going to wear them on Saturday and go somewhere. Maybe we'll go shopping and we'll see. So that is it for my Happy Meal. I'm super excited for that. I did end up getting rid of most of my t-shirts, which is why I had placed an order for these t-shirts. The only clothes that I pretty much kept when I did my move was my work clothes and I donated everything else because I just figured someone can use it more than i can because i was only wearing using them two days out of the week or something like that on the days that i'm not working anyway that is it that is my happy meal that is my story so we're just going to get into this video in regards to our sinking funds update and i already i'm just gonna move these t-shirts i had already um wrote out the categories because my categories did change because I consolidated some of them and I am just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see better and we're going to start off with my high priorities this is I do have a section for cat bills and cash envelopes and the reason why this is an older sheet I had this because I used to roll over all of my funds so even my bills and my cash envelopes whatever was left over at the end of the um, billing cycle my pay cycle I would just roll that over into the next one I don't do that anymore I just unstuff it and put it into my rollover envelope but I did want to keep this section in the event that I do decide to go back into that system that system worked for me when I was wasn't able to keep up with my spending and my bills so I was spending more than my bills so what's I thought it, would, it made sense for me back then to have a little bit of a cushion in every envelope but now since I'm already, um, I already got my budgeting in, in control, um, for the most part, um, I'm comfortable enough taking out that fund, those funds and roll, putting it into the rollover envelope. And then whatever I decide to do, whatever funds are in the rollover envelope, I'll just deal with that later. So that is why there is a bills and cash envelopes section here. I, and so we're just going to skip that because that those funds are going to be pulled out at the end of the week when I do get paid on Friday. So we're just going to hit the high priority savings, um, high priority binders and envelopes. I did put buffer and savings here because I had um, depleted those and so I'm restarting them. So I don't really have a beginning balance because most of my funds had gotten messed up with um, with my moving and with the loss of my family. So I ended up taking money out of these funds. And so um, now you guys are figuring out what are in these envelopes the same way I'm figuring out what's in these envelopes. So we're gonna start off with Amazon monthly and this is for monthly subscriptions. I don't know why that's not in order. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 200, 10, 15, 16, and 17, 217. And I'm just going to put it into beginner balance so that I know what I'm going, what I have since I'm starting off fresh kind of buffer. I can, I mix buffer and savings. So this is actually one category and it wasn't on purpose it was by accident i kept them separate so that's good so this is what's in buffer 100 20 40 60 80 200 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 300 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 so 355 is in buffer savings is in the same envelope and only because I didn't make what's in that envelope so it has 120 that is weird um that is weird 120 is in savings I must have pulled out something and not realized it church and this is just an annual donation that I'm going to give to my church I only started this last year um after give to my mom's church 
after she had passed. So for church, we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 424. 424. My emergency fund, there is prop money in here. So we have 1,000, 2,000, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 10, 20, 30, 45, 46, 47, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. So 1,000, 150, sorry, 2,150 is in my emergency fund. $2,150. Future has $150, 200, 10, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So 235 is in future. Investments. Investments needs to be deposited clearly. So this is I have prop money for whatever's in my what's in my Roth IRA and and then cash that obviously needs to be deposited into my Roth IRA and I'm trying to put this in order. So this was stuffed in my last stuffing, my last two stuffings. Okay, so let's see what's here. So in my Roth, we have 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 3,000, 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 3, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 4, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 95, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So $1,524, um, 1524 I am going to, I'm gonna pull this out when I do my weekly check-in, um, only because I need to get this deposited as soon as possible so that I can start investing the funds. And I usually, I, my goal is to put 500 into investments every month, but I'm going to try to max out my Roth IRA in the next couple of months. So you, I might start throwing more money towards that. Um, laundry, which is also what I use for dry cleaning. So that's why this one usually goes up and down. I don't even know why I track it, but um, I do do dry cleaning with it. So which is why I roll it over. So 20. 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80, 92, and $205. And when I usually take my clothes and my husband's laundry um, work clothes, it's usually about a hundred bucks. And it depends on what we're taking. Um, it's usually suits. Medical has 150, 250, 350, 450, 550. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, wait, okay, let's see, 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650, 660, 670, 680, 685, 690, okay. That would have been a big whoopsie. So, one, two, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 50, 60, 70, 85, 90, yes. Okay. So medical has 690, my goal for that is 1,000. 
and then I'll just start building onto my until my deductible but I do plan on switching health plans in the fall so we'll see about that I'll let you guys know about that um pet fund has 152 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 70 80 94 10 20 30 40 50 5 65 so 465 is in pet fund and their food is about two hundred dollars a month so um but i like to roll over to make sure that they have a cushion in case i have to supplement where i buy their food from if i buy from amazon it's already preset to ship but if they don't have it in stock i do end up spending a little bit more on chewy and then i just always end up to get in in a month extra right so I do like to be prepared for that. For toiletries, we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 80, 81, 82. So 282. Let me just, 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 80, and $2, yes. And that's for toiletries. I usually do a huge toiletry haul every, I don't know, two months, every other month. Um, okay, so that is it for my high yield savings accounts, high yield savings envelopes. I'm just gonna do a quick count to put the total down here. So we have 350. Darn it. Okay. Two eighty two. Okay, so wow. Okay, so my total for my high priority sinking funds is six thousand. Don't get mad at me for this number, 667, so 6,667. And now we're going to get into my low priority ones. And so for my high priority, I make sure that, I'm trying to make sure that I stuff those in for every paycheck. And so um, whatever's left over, then I'll probably trickle it on into some low priority ones, but those are the ones that I try to hit every week when, whether or not I get paid for my regular, um, my regular nine to five job, or um, if I get paid from high side hustles, so selling things on Macari, stuff like that. So annual subscriptions, I'm not too concerned about this because I have until April of next year. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 35, 40, 5, 50. So 150. Beauty has 50, 100, 10, 20, 30, so 130. I probably dip into this envelope maybe about twice a year. I don't know. When I'm putting braids in or if I'm straightening my hair, then I will dip into that envelope. I don't really dip into it for any, unless I'm, or if I'm buying expensive, um, like Olaplex and stuff like that. Um, clothing. I am definitely going to be using this, and probably not this. If not this month, then next month. So 100, 250, 65, 70. So 270. Dollar Tree. I couldn't get rid of this envelope, so I just put it into low priority. That's 20, 40, 60, 70, 85, 86. Electronics has 150, 200, 5, 10, 15. So 215 for electronics. 
for entertainment. And I consolidated this for entertainment support small and my BS Sphere Alley envelope into my entertainment because I'm not sure if I'm going to go to VS Fair this year, the fair this year, street fair this year. Um, and for support small, since we're coming up towards the end of the year, I had already allocated money for that. So I just figured, let me just throw it into entertainment. Um, yeah, so that's it. I was almost fully funded for the other two envelopes, except for VS Fair, because I didn't even get to my $400 mark. But for support small entertainment, I was already fully funded, so I just consolidated them both. Um, anyway, so for the entertainment, I have 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, 550, 600, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 60, 61. So 761. And so my goal for entertainment for the month of August was $300. Um, and then I had the 4... 13 I believe was from the mom life um, planner challenge and that's to buy my planner supplies for 2023 and support small shops and VS fair was 400 but I never got to that so I'm not even sure if I'm going and that's about it glasses my goal for this is about 500 um, I actually increased it to 600 so let's see we have because of inflation and stuff like that I'm not sure how much my glasses are going to cost next year so um glasses 150 250 350 400 10 20 30 40 55 so 455 we're almost there okay home improvement I don't really allocate much funds to this one. I am gonna start doing that now. Um, so we have 50, 100, 50, 200, 20, 30, 40, 51. So 251. Hubby, I use this to buy his birthday gift and this is for 2023. So 50, 70, 90. 110 130 150 160 170 180 and i don't really have a set goal for this one whatever's in here when i do when it's time for his birthday is what i'm going to be spending and i don't plan on going over that um akira winter and spring this is for the annual visit and it's 100, 200, 300, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 46, 47, 48, 40. Wait a minute, what? Okay, let's do that again because I was counting these fives as singles and that is a big no-no. So 1, 2, 3, 400, 50, 500, 50, 600, 10, 20, 30, 45, 55, 65. So was that 655, 455, 655. So 655. And their office, their visit is about maybe about 200 a month, 200 per year for their, with their vaccinations. And I'm so glad I switched to their vet this year because that sucker used to cost me with just Kira which is why I went to go look for a new vet was about four, five hundred dollars just for her because the office visit itself was two hundred dollars, two hundred and five dollars to be exact. So the one that I go to now only charges me about eighty eight dollars, and then their vaccinations it I, I averaged out about about a hundred dollars. Um, new tech has ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty one, fifty two, fifty three, and fifty four. This is not really a priority for me, but I do want to get it to maybe by the end of the year, try to get it to 500. Um, wait, this is miscellaneous. Sorry. So let me just. I moved miscellaneous into low priority so that I can stop dipping into it and figured maybe that'll help with the system. New, new tech. So I just snuck it in there has 20 40 60 5 75 85 so 85 dollars for new tech 
um let's see what's in rollover a lot of you guys said that i should put rollover into investments and i'm i think I'm, that's what i'm gonna do to try to max out put more money towards my roth ira so let me see what's actually in here and then i'll probably just round it down and put whatever so if it's four hundred dollars i'll put the four hundred if it's 352 i'll put 300 and leave the 52 dollars in here you know so let's see 20 40 60 81 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 10 20 30 40 50 60. okay wow i didn't even know that so 360 is in rollover so i'm gonna probably take out um when i do my unstuffing i'll take out the 300 and leave the 60 bucks in here and put the 300 into my Roth IRA. You know what? I think I might just do that now. No, I'll do that later. I'll do that later. I'm going to confuse my my tracker. So so Uber has 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And vacation. Um, let's see. You have... 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 75, 275, yep, 275 for vacation. Okay, that is it for my low priority, and then I do want to track not all of my holiday envelopes just the main ones that are coming up so gifts i actually spent that so let's see what i have in birthday um 10 25 35 45 55 65 75 85 95 100 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 200 okay so we have 200 for birthday Halloween is $100, but I might increase this to $150, but we will see. So we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, okay, 57. 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So $69 is in Halloween. And we're not really doing trick or treating or anything like that. We are probably just gonna have a movie a movie night marathon there. Marathon. $69. Thanksgiving, my goal was $500, but I do still stuff it with small amounts. Um, so we have five, $500, $5, $6, $7, $8, $9, $10. So $510 is in Thanksgiving. Black Friday. Let's see what is in you. So we have 500, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So 524, let's find that one that was spent, here we go. And for Christmas is the last one that I wanted to see what we had. And so I don't even know what I'm getting anybody for Christmas this year. If you guys have any ideas, I do like to be planned. I do like to be prepared ahead. Um, so we have 500, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, also 524. So 524.
Okay, that is perfect. So those are the main the main holidays of Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Easter, all the holidays that had already passed for 2022 are have like a couple of bucks in them, probably no more than ten dollars for some some of them. Some of them even have three dollars. Um so I'm not too worried about those. After the main holidays pass, then I'll probably give those more attention. And I do want to do a quick count for this. Um so we're gonna do the main holidays. Um, 200. So for this one, we have $1,827. And now I'm just going to total up my low, low priority sinking funds. Okay, so for low priority, we have 300, $3,977. $3, so I'm just going to total up everything. And so in total for the year, I had saved up in these envelopes for my sinking funds. There is a total of one thousand two. Sorry, $12,470 one dollars and i think that that is amazing um i know this sheet looks a little bit raggedy but i uh, i wanted to show you guys and i don't think i show you guys showed you guys in the past um in my last my, my last sinking funds update i actually after this video i take these numbers and i put it into a spreadsheet so that i know what percentage i am at in regards to my goals so I will just see, show you guys quickly. And let's see. And so I do want to show you guys. So this is my sinking funds. It has to be updated because it hasn't been updated since June when I was pulling all the funds out. But I do, the, my, the main reason why I put it in here is when I'm doing my budget for the month of August, I'll just go through the ones that aren't where they're supposed to be for the month and I'll try to allocate more funds to that. So when I do my monthly budget or my bi-weekly budget for the beginning of the month because my first paycheck goes mostly towards bills and stuff like that and then my second paycheck goes towards my sinking funds, this is how I determine where I'm putting everything because if it was like so let's see um Kara Winston Spring was actually combined so here my goal amount for Kara Winter and Spring those are my cats are is for $300 and here they had a before in June they had a end balance of $210 so I was 70% towards my goal and I would know to myself okay you know what i in order for me I would I, I, whether or not I feel comfortable because this is until the end of the year feel comfortable not stuffing so much into it maybe I'll put five dollars or ten dollars as opposed to this category here home improvement my goal was five hundred dollars and I'm only at 170 so I'm at 34 percent I will try to get this to get this higher so I'll allocate more funds to that I hope that makes sense to you guys um I did this spreadsheet because I was mo mainly focused on my my moving so that's why i just put everything on it but this is what i do personally after i do my singing funds update that way i can track it throughout the year and i don't really have to go back to my sheets i'll just pull up that spreadsheet because i do keep it keep the months um i just i'll keep the prior month right and that is it that is my singing funds update for july end of july my budget closed out i do need to do a uh, cash condensing and i do need to pull out some money that i had spent for the last two weeks and i do dip into one of my sinking funds two of my sinking funds actually my gifts envelopes and my birthday envelope because of my niece's birthday and then i also supported a small a small 
business so i'm probably going to dip into that envelope but you guys will see that in my um weekly check-in which is going to be on thursdays i'm going to do that on thursdays now only because i get paid on friday and my spreadsheet would already be updated for friday so i can know where i'm putting more putting that money and that is it thank you guys so much for watching i also i'm gonna link below link down below um chrissy from the mom life her channel and her website so that you guys can order your t-shirts mine got here really fast and i am super happy about them i when i tell you great quality t-shirts this is it um and i'm a t-shirt junkie so with this that's why i had ended up getting rid of most of them because i just needed to get rid of i needed to do a purge and yeah i love these i love these thank you chrissy thank you chrissy's mom for taking so care of these t-shirts and i can't wait to show you guys my next happy mail um i don't know when it's gonna come but i'm super excited for it and that is it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys